The governor and state health commissioner announced that a man in Marion County tested positive for the virus early Friday morning at an Indianapolis hospital. Tippecanoe County Health Officer Jeremy Adler says that confirmed case prompted him to declare a public health emergency. Leads us to uh, believe that it is possible uh, that other cases uh, can appear in Indiana, including in Tippecanoe County. He says residents need to practice good hygiene, stay home if they are sick, and regularly clean counters, doorknobs, phones, and other surfaces to reduce the threat to people most at risk, those ages 80 and above, as well as people who have underlying medical conditions. Franciscan Health in Lafayette, Crawfordsville, and Rensselaer has enacted restrictions on visitors. Indiana Health Commissioner Chris Bach says the confirmed patient in Marion County contacted the state health department when he developed a sore throat, cough, and a temperature after returning from a conference in Boston. The patient was referred to Community North Hospital, where Dr. Ram Yaletti says staff wearing protective material met him in the parking lot and gave him protective items as well. He was taken back to an isolation room through a different side entrance, not in, not in contact with any other individuals. He was placed in a room that has negative airflow, and then the appropriate testing was, uh, was done. Dr. Adler confirmed a lab test came back negative for an adult in West Lafayette who had temporarily quarantined themselves. Uh, I think that uh, that situation was uh, handled uh, appropriately uh, and that the individual uh, was uh, cared for uh, in the appropriate manner. The key is that patients called ahead and notified medical facilities so they could prepare and minimize risk to others while treating the individual. Dr. Adler says it's that type of individual cooperation that will reduce the potential harm in Tippecanoe County and across the state. Chris Morrissey-Vitsa, Star City News.